Okay, one of the most difficult things about macro photography, if you could be shooting something really small, like a bug, an insect, some sort of macro object, is a proper setup because you have to use a flash, and you obviously cannot use a macro flash when your subject is about yay close. Camera mounted flash isn't going to work it. I've seen so many convoluted bullshit contraptions out there that, you know, it just looks like some sort of inbred cross eyed idiot designed it. So here is the best setup. I've seen literally hundreds of macro setups. Not only is this setup not that expensive, it's also the best setup. It uh, locks in place, it's not flimsy or shitty, you can actually almost jog with it and it'll still stay in place if you uh, if you lock everything down. Um, that's using the custom brackets, the CB folding T brackets. Um, I think you can actually get these, I've got two, set, two of these setups identical. Um, I think you can get the bracket itself for 70 bucks. It's made in America. It's CNC machined. It's extremely well built, but you have to add something to it. So you can get an articulated flash so you can shoot up underneath. I obviously don't have a macro lens on my D7100 right now. Normally I'd be shooting with my Sigma 150mm 2.8 or my Tekina 100mm 2.8. I can just let you assume, obviously, there's a subsume right now that this is a macro lens. I'm just showing this for demonstration purposes. So, this is your best macro setup. It's uh, excellent. It's uh, supreme. It's wonderful. It's divine. It's incredibly easy. Now, you'll see here that you have to have two accessories other than your CB uh, custom folding bracket to uh, build this setup. That is your, as I told you in another video, the most important accessory in the world to have is your SC29 flash cord. But I'm used for about 45 bucks. The additional thing for your CB folding bracket, and you can see it right over here, it is a ball head. You don't need a fancy ball head. They make a ball head that's a, little, a good bit smaller than this, and it's like 25 bucks. I forget who makes it. But this is just a simple a ProMaster ball head, and of course I have attached an SB900 flash. Doesn't matter if it's an 800 or a 900 or a 910, but I got a full articulation on this so I can actually shoot up underneath at my main subject or up above. But you can see this is a six dollar soft box. Actually, this is a technically a twenty dollar soft box. But you can buy these little soft boxes for your speed light flashes for about six dollars on eBay. This is a slightly better one by Westcott. I think it's twenty dollars. So eighty dollars in your flash bracket. Um, this ProMaster bald he ball head is, uh, I think it's $30. $20 on your, uh, on your softbox. Some people make them themselves. themselves. I used to make them back in photography school. You make them out of, uh, out of uh, paper towels and a hunk of cardboard. But I mean, so fucking what? Buy one off of eBay for $6, for Christ's sakes, okay? So this is uh, extremely handy, and the only problem with this bracket is, is every one of these brackets that are kind of like this, they all need a ball head so you can articulate your flash head up, down, underneath, so you can actually illuminate your, your subject underneath, or up above, or off here to the side, which is the best compositional lighting I've actually found for a macro shooting. I obviously don't have a macro lens on here right now, but this is it. Obviously, also, basically 95% of your macro shots are going to be cropped and that is why it is always a better choice due to pixel density to shoot macro with a uh, DX camera because not only do you have a 1.5 magnification factor on your DX over your lens, say if I had 100mm Tekina on here right now, 100mm Tekina macro it would make it a 150mm but you're going to crop all your macro bug shots or butterfly shots or whatever the hell it is you're going to be shooting in macro, you're going to be cropping them all anyway. So I guess something has extremely high pixel density, since you're going to be cropping it anyway, the best camera to shoot for macro since the D7100, for example, is an equivalent of a 54.1 megapixel density on the pixel density over that of an FX. That is also why birders shoot with DX cameras, and it's also why the superior choice for macro shooting is a DX camera, not an FX camera. Money doesn't solve everything, folks. It doesn't. So here you can see it. Like I said, all I have to do is just unscrew my latch to my bald head, tighten it up. I can reposition my head anywhere here, up above, down below, even a little bit closer, depending on what sort of lighting effects I want. I can carry this around my neck. It's perfectly secure. It's wonderful. It folds up really tight. Both arms fold flat against the main uh, chassis, ho ch chassis housing. 
I obviously need Velcro. I normally secure it better, but this is for demonstration purposes only. So this is the best macro setup. I've seen lots and lots and lots of macro setups over the past 20 years, and I've come up with what is the most secure, the most simple, uh, the most uh, gives you the most options for it. Because it's really, really, really important to articulate your flash for various lighting effects, gels, whatnot, various angles underneath, in close, up tight, overhead, or as I have it here as my current. Uh, Favorite, uh, I get the best compositional lighting uh, like this off of macro shot shooting bugs or whatnot. So that's using this ball head. All I have to do, obviously, as you can see here, I've got the ProMaster screwed into the CB folding bracket. So here it is. It's 70 bucks or 80 bucks. Go on B and H, just something like that. It's a CB folding T folding flash rotating bracket. As you can see here, they show it in a. Uh, any wedding photography or a, a standard configuration. This is obviously not good for uh, for macro shooting because your subject is in really close to your lens. So this is not what you want to do. But the the bracket itself will actually fold over top of the camera, or it'll articulate over to the left, and then you attach your ball head over here, and that way you can attach your speed light and get in close and get various any sort of lighting position you want. Literally this is, I don't say this lightly, this literally is the best setup for uh, shooting macro. Um, obviously if you're going to do a studio shot, that's something else that I'm talking about on the fly, out in the field, shooting bugs, insects, whatever, it's going to be flowers. This is the best sturdy setup, like I said, 80 bucks for the bracket, $30 for the bald head, whatever you pay for your speed light. And you can get a soft box for your speed light for 6 bucks on eBay, that's shipped. You know, it's just really simple. All you have to do is attach a couple pieces of Velcro to your speed light and your softbox attaches there. So that is your macro setup for your DX camera.